hey guys welcome back to my channel so I have really incredible friends and I had another flower delivery so I got these flowers and I will put up one of many videos <laughs> that I took of these flowers because they were just so adorable and so pretty. Yes, one of them is a poppy. I know, I'm just as excited. One of my all-time favorite pieces that we ever made was this piece. It has a huge poppy in it. I love this piece so much. So I'm really excited to work with a poppy again. Oh my god, I've been saying poppy. I've been, literally been saying poppy. And then the last time I said peony, but meant poppy. And this time I'm saying poppy. So much is happening. <laughs> and I know that future self is so gonna leave that in. So, I know there's a peony in there. I'm just as excited as you are. The last time I worked with a peony, it was my favorite piece ever. Okay, I was trying to recreate everything that I said, but I just feel like it's going horribly. We are going to take all of those flowers and try to make one floral resin art piece. I don't know why I said resin. Uh, resin art piece. So if you're interested in seeing how these flowers dried in silica gel and what we can make with it, I don't know why this was the motion for make. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what we make with these flowers, then continue watching. Okay, so like I said, I did dry these. I buried them in silica gel. So what we're going to do now is take them out of silica gel. So I will show you that clip now. Okay, so these are how they dried. Obviously, we're gonna talk about the peony first. It did lose a bit of its color, but honestly, I am obsessed. I love like the almost, almost like vintagey feel about it because it is almost like, it has a lot of yellow to it. Like the petals are so pretty. It's so like, such a soft pink. But I feel like this dried the best. This ranunculus came out so pretty. The color is like almost exactly the same as it was before. And then I definitely think, I kind of forgot how like chunky this tulip was. So I think I'm definitely going to put this in a dome. Okay, so it's been a few days since I did the intro for this video because I had to wait for a larger mold that would fit the gorgeous largeness of this peony, not poppy. So this is a gigantic silicone mold. I think it's really just like a cake mold. It is shiny inside, but there are like a bunch of like little marks in there. So we will be top coating this piece anyway. I probably would have done it either way, but it is a huge mold. I believe it's around like 10 inches. It's kind of like my purple mold, only a lot deeper and the best part about this mold is that the sides are not tapered, like they don't fan out like my purple mold does. This mold just like goes straight up and I'm so excited to have this shape. I also got uh, ahead of the game and started flooding the tulip. We are going to put the tulip 
in a dome instead so what I did have to do when you do a dome piece you definitely want to make sure that the flower is flooded like what I mean by that is in the very center right in here the very center of the flower a lot of times if you do not flood that with resin like I have it here you will get a pocket of air in there and if you get a large pocket of air in the center of your flower like that it can discolor the flower a lot faster um, so like this piece here I put a rose in uh, resin here in like a whole entire sphere but uh, the reflection in there is a huge pocket of air so that is going to like discolor the flower and kind of rot it and you do not want pockets of air. So I have flooded this tulip with resin right in the center and I did it in this little like smaller sphere mold just like this one only a lot smaller and I don't know if like I'm not an expert on flooding flowers but this is just how I do it so I thought I would show you. I will show you a little clip now of how I did this. I think I did this all in one pour um, but if you have larger flowers like if you're flooding a rose maybe you should probably do it in like layers just so that the flower doesn't get or the resin doesn't get too hot and burn the flower since this one was so small I did it all in one pour and obviously you can see that I did not cover the whole thing because it would have overflowed in this mold I'm sorry about my nails <laughs> got no time for nails so this is what we have right now. So I am still going to have to be careful about um, pockets of air because I obviously did not fill the entire center up to the very top of the petals. Uh, so a pocket could still form right in there. So what I think I'm going to do, since this mold is so much bigger than this, I'm going to fill this uh, with some resin, not fill it all the way, but I will fill it probably halfway up. And then when I put this in, I'm probably going to almost like scoop it in there and like kind of cover the whole thing and then put it in because what we'll want is for the flower to be facing up when we pop it out. So it has to go in upside down and that's where the pocket happens. You really want to be able to fill the entire flower. I just wasn't able to with the small mold that I had. Again, I don't have too much experience in doing this. This is just the way that I thought might work. So this is kind of an experiment in itself. So we're going to see if this works. Um, I'm hoping that you won't even see the resin that is already on here because it'll just kind of like blend in with the new resin that I'm going to be pouring in there. So all the flowers that are going into this one will probably do face up and I think that'll be a lot easier uh, to not get any pockets. Okay, I think I went over everything, hopefully. <laughs> um, I felt like I babbled on enough for it to be <laughs> complete. So let's get mixing up some casting resin and then we will pour and then we will go on from there. I'm so excited to get these in resin finally.
Okay, so I just wanted to pop in because I know that there have been many clips of pouring different layers. So I kind of just wanted to touch base really quick before hopefully the last layer later today. It's humongous. It is just the thickest thing <laughs> I've ever made. And uh, we are on our fifth layer. Uh, you can't really see what I wrote. But I've been writing down uh, all the layers and how much I've been pouring into this. So we will go over um, how much resin is actually in this. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little ridiculous, honestly. So stick around for the end when we go over how much resin I poured into this mold. So I did uh, do just like sprinklings of glitter in a few of the layers. Uh, some layers are clear and then some layers I did sprinkle some glitter and I kind of just wanted that to look like, you know, just like a light sprinkling, light sparkle. Um, and I didn't want to do it in every layer because I didn't want it to kind of overpower everything, but I think it's really, really pretty. Oh, something I did want to go over is that first layer that we did. I wanted that first layer to be completely clear because I didn't want the flower to be touching the back at all. I want these flowers to be completely sandwiched and surrounded by the resin so that is why I did that so I will see you guys in probably five hours to do the next final layer <laughs> Okay, so it has been literally an entire week. Well, okay, sorry, that was an over-exaggeration. It's been like five days that we have been... <laughs> just, it feels so ridiculous to pick this up because it's literally enormous. Look at it next to my face. And it's just about full. Like, it is just about full. So when this pops out, I will be measuring it. I will do my best to weigh it because I know a lot of you are going to want to know how much this thing weighs. I mean, honestly, I'm curious to know how much this thing weighs. But we are finally going to pop it out. I am going to be using gloves to pop it out because I don't want to get any fingerprints on it. Um, long story short, I did do a teeny tiny layer on the very top last night around midnight uh, because a bubble decided to cure at the very top of the most like the previous layer. So I had to do a layer on top of that just to kind of like fix it, pop the bubble, like fill it, and then uh, seal it all in. So the top layer is still like it could take any kind of like impression if I really press on it. So I will be wearing gloves, but we're gonna do our best to pop this out and I wanted to pop it out together because <laughs> it's just, I feel like this is gonna be a moment. Um, I'm working on it while I'm talking uh, because I feel like it's just going to take, it's actually coming out a lot faster than, oh my God. <laughs> like see my face straight through it <laughs> look at how enormous this thing is oh my god look how like crystal clear it's like freaking water I, I feel like I need to scream right now I love this so much it literally looks like a block of ice with like flowers in it and the glitter is so pretty just because it's like just a little sprinkling of glitter throughout the entire piece I, this is, this is, I feel like every time we work with a peony, it becomes my new favorite, and this is just, <laughs> like, are you speechless? I feel like this is ridiculously pretty. Oh my goodness. So this is the back of it. It's just a block, a block of water. <laughs> flowers in it that's literally what this looks like <gasps> and look at this she stands on her own let me bring you closer <gasps> dude <laughs> this is so crazy I'm sorry for like the ridiculousness of my desk it goes along with the ridiculousness of this video, I feel like. The very uh, last coat that I did is like perfect. It's like there's nothing on it. Not a single speck of dust landed on it. 
not a hair, no bubbles. There's like a million layers in this and I kind of don't want to top coat it because that last coat is so perfect. So I think, I think that's it for this. We will still be top coating the tulip dome, which is right here. So we will still be top coating this. But as far as this giant queen, she is definitely done. In my opinion, I just, I love this. I mean, maybe at some point I will top coat it, but for right now, I'm kind of just in love with it and I want to stare at it. So here are a few clips of these pieces completely finished in the sun and sparkling. Okay, so let's talk about how much was actually in this thing. So I basically filled this mold up. It looks weird now because it's all like stretched out. But the first layer was three cups, the second layer was four cups, the third layer was two, fourth two, and fifth two. There were five layers, um, and total there were 13 cups of resin added to this mold to make this piece. I did subtract one cup that I did pour into this. I don't even know if there's a whole cup in here, but I did subtract one cup, so 12 cups total. And that translates to 96 ounces of resin. 12 cups, 96 ounces, that's freaking ridiculous. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I loved, I loved making this piece so much. So I'm really excited. Please let me know what you guys think of it. I'm so eager to read your comments about this enormous, beautiful piece. I'm so excited to read them. So please let me know what you think. And I also hope that some of the info that I gave you guys in this video helps you in your future endeavors of preserving flowers in resin. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm gonna go stare at this thing for like 10 hours. <laughs>